In this training video, we will show you how to carry out an overall system T-test using a portable hydraulic tester. This circuit diagram illustrates how the components are connected together. In this test environment, we have used a hydraulic power pack with a built-in relief valve, a secondary relief valve, a directional control valve, a manifold to connect to the cylinder, and a portable hydraulic tester with straight hoses at the inlet and outlet. Firstly, we operate the directional control valve and extend the cylinder to the end of the stroke. Then we close the loading valve to restrict the flow. This will force the relief valve to open and reduce the flow down the T to zero. The relief valve is currently set at 77 bar, which we need to adjust to 80 bar. With the relief valve now at 80 bar, we can test the relief valve works repeatedly. We open the loading valve again to reduce the pressure. And then we load the system again. You can see that the relief valve starts to open at 70 bar. And with the smooth control of the loading valve, we increase the pressure up to 80 bar. The inline pump test video, also available in this series, showed the pump flow was 16.3 liters per minute or LPM at 60 bar. We can now test for leakage in the circuit at 60 bar. We know that the relief valve does not crack until around 70 bar. And the flow at 60 bar is still 16.3 LPM. This demonstrates that there are no leaks within any of the components. For more information on WebTech hydraulic test equipment, contact us today.